Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys ways to fix FPS drops, fix lagging and stuttering, and overall increase the performance of your Fortnite in Chapter 5 Season 4. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end, and with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential Windows settings. For that, press the Windows key and search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, then over to game bar, and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background, and disabling it will help you increase your performance. After that, go back to gaming, then to game mode, and turn this on. Game mode, when turned on, will help you reduce apps running in the background and turn off notifications that ultimately pop up in your game, giving you better FPS. Now right beneath that, you'll find graphics settings. Graphics settings. Simply go over to this, click on Change Default Graphics Settings, and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games by using the GPU to render. After that, go back to Graphics, and right over here, click on the Browse button, and then go to the Install Location of your game. Once you're here, go over to Binaries, Win64, and in here, you'll find win64shipping.exe. Click on Add, and it's already added to my list. Find it, click on it, go over to Options, and then click on High Performance, then click on Save. Next up, disable Epic Games Launcher options. First, open the Epic Games Launcher. Go to your library, press the three dots next to Fortnite, and click Options. These are launch options in Fortnite you can choose to have installed. Uncheck also save the world if you don't play it. Uncheck high resolution textures since these are useless and we're trying to boost FPS and DirectX 12 shaders if you use performance mode. Lastly, we have pre-download screen assets. Enable this option because what this does is download all skins, pickaxes, and other cosmetics saved in your PC. If you don't have this checked, every time you come across a player, you would have to download their skins while in a match. Those right there are the best launch options so far. Next up is Close Background Apps. We can go down to the bottom right hand side of your taskbar and click on our task icon tray and start closing out any and all programs you don't need open while playing Fortnite. A common mistake people run into, if you're playing a game on Steam or on Epic Games, you don't need every single game launcher open. Just take yourself to the bottom right hand side, right click on these applications you don't need running when playing your game and exit out of them. And the last tip I have for you guys is in Fortnite settings. What you should consider changing is your rendering mode to DX12 because last season Epic put out an update and in that update your FPS would drop so much from 165 to like 20 FPS. So how I fixed it is that I switched to DX12. Now I know some of you guys have potato PCs and DX12 would run terribly. So if you can't do that then check out this video right here on the screen.